I'm sure you liked a lot of what happened in the first two periods and then came the third. Was that more on you or was it on what they were able to do to maybe ramp it up? Well, they're so opportunistic and unfortunately, you know, it's a good good hockey game and third starts okay and we blow a face-off coverage and it goes in the back of the net and, you know, the third one's just a turnover inside our blue line. We make a change that we probably shouldn't have made and we just don't react the way we should have in that situation but I love the fact that we battled back and didn't quit and like you said there are a lot of good things out of tonight but there's certainly things that we need to improve on and can learn from. Are those mistakes that against most teams maybe don't hurt you but because of like you said how opportune they are that that makes that much of a difference it's magnified? Yeah well, for sure I mean they've got the talent to take advantage of those types of mistakes and the face-off goal, we haven't had anything resembling that all year long. And unfortunately, tonight we make that type of mistake and it ends up in the back of our net. But, you know, we kept playing. We didn't give up and competed and had some chances six on five to tie it. And unfortunately, just weren't able to do it. A big part of the game before the third was the four-minute penalty kill. What stood out to you about what you guys did and how much of a boost did it give you? Well, it gave us a lot of energy. I mean, Lindy's done a great job with our penalty kill over the last few games. Obviously, the big kill we had at the end of the last game we played, uh, you know, and tonight killing those four minutes, you're holding your breath against that power play. But we made some good adjustments, and you know, our guys really competed and ice pucks when they needed to, and you know, made it difficult for them. Those early goals in the in the first and third, where you guys start the period strong, and then all of a sudden it's in the back of your net. We're not talking though about. How, how you didn't battle back from that. I mean, you've, you've got to at least be pleased with the, the response. Yeah, there were a lot of good things tonight. But like I said, you know, you can't make those types of mistakes. You know, face-off blown coverage, which we haven't had all year. And, you know, the bad change and, you know, not reacting to a turnover five feet inside a blue line, which costs us a third. But, you know, we make it three to two, and then they make it four to two on a, you know, odd man rush, which we didn't give as many as, you know, against that type of team, you can't be giving up odd man rushes. And But again, we make it four to three and then had chances to tie it. So a lot of good tonight. We've just got to keep building on it and moving forward. If I can ask you just about a couple guys, yeah. Georgie shaking off that first goal and keeping you in it and giving you a chance to win. What, what did you think? Was good? I thought it was good. I thought he played well. Obviously, this is a great situation to put him in, another learning opportunity for him to play in this type of environment against that type of team. And I thought he responded well. And the other guys, what, what did you see out of Pionk? He looked like he had the barrel on it. Yeah, he played well tonight. He's really stepped up and played well in games of this magnitude. And, you know, I thought all our young players did a really good job. I thought Leah Anderson had a good night. I thought Heedle had a really good night. Howden had a good night. You know, our young kids played well tonight.